All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaq, Wadash. I should double honors with the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone for teaching us this word in truth and sincerity for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, I'm the brother Gabar Yahweh Duff from GMS Hawaii. And this is, I'm going to make this video real quick. This video was inspired by this, um, a portion of the street preaching live street preaching yesterday from the apostles okay and they were going in and they were speaking about uh, the term preacher and, and what does it mean all right and elder so um, bishop elder sakuran apostles uh, elder sakuran he had, he had also pushed um you know he was he was reading out of the the etymon online so I, I i just looked it up myself and like elder apostle tahar said i want to rewind it real quick let me play this real quick yeah. Because ye have said the Lord hath raised us up prophets in Babylon. Our lives shall and remain shall be what? Shall be what? Joined up, to, up with caught up together right, uh, with, uh, to the Lord in the clouds. In the cloud, right. That's how they're going to be gathered, physically gathered. Yes. Okay, go ahead. It says, because ye have said the Lord hath raised us up prophets in Babylon. Yeah, that, uh, what's that bald headed? I was watching it earlier today. Keith, something. something. What, what happened to preacher? Why, why we can't just be preacher? You made that statement. But preacher is a prophet. He said right? he said there's no more prophets. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bald -head guy. So he said, he said, why can't we just be preachers? Yeah. Well, when you look the word up, you see, that's why you got to think with a scholarly mind. Yeah. When you check words out, dumbass, the word preacher translates into the word prophet right exactly. Do me a and this is the proof of that like elder apostle tahara said the word preacher translate into the word prophet you know that one guy said well, why can't we just be preachers you got these you got these uh so-called pastors and so-called preachers out here when they say why can't we just be preachers these niggas just be talking out of their heart they're not prophesying to you about the times that we're coming in and that we're living in and that we have lived in. Uh, unlike the apostles and the bishop elders and us brothers on down, we go out there weekly and do these lessons to let you know that we're prophesying about things that are to come, you know, um, regarding the, the Lord's people as well as the other nations. Okay, that's that's a prophecy. And even uh, apostle, elder apostle Gabar, he was, he was prophesying out there. Well, all of them were, but in, in this particular clip, he was speaking about how, uh, you know, destruction is coming. That's a prophecy, man. That's written in the scriptures. That's written in the precepts. See, a preacher is not just a person who just talks about God uh, and this and that and that. You know, they give you that. They give you this uh, charismatic performance in front of all these people, and he's sweating and he's sweating profusely and he's spitting and foaming at the mouth. That is not a preacher. You know? These, those are guys set up by Esau to misguide you, really set up by the Lord through Satan to, to misguide and mislead you and ultimately lead you to destruction, okay? But a preacher is a prophet, and this is the proof. A preacher is a prophet, all right? This is the word prophet. It's a noun, and it's in an etymon online. It says the late 12th century, a person who speaks for the Most High, or I'll read it verbatim, a person who speaks for God, because the Heavenly Father don't come down here and talk to you real quick. Right, uh, the Most High don't just come down here and talk to you, and, and personally face to face. This is Hosea twelve and ten. It says, "I have, I have, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry." So that the Lord speaks by the prophets. He don't come to you and talk to you. This is uh, uh, late, late. Just the word prophet, late twelfth century. A person who speaks for the Most High, one who foretells inspired preacher so one who foretells what who foretells the future that the lord is going to do something whether good or bad it's really just judgment so he says an inspired preacher 
So a prophet is an inspired preacher from the old French prophete or prophete, prophete, soothsayer. It says uh, in directly form of Latin, profita from the Greek prophetes. And it says an interpreter, a spokesperson, proclaimer, a harbinger, you know, but especially one who speaks for God, inspired preacher or teacher. So a prophet is a teacher. A prophet is a inspired uh, preacher. All right. Pro meaning before. Uh, pro meaning before or pair meaning forward. Hence in front before with the root for nine to speak. So to speak before to speak, to tell. All right. So you got that guy talking about. Well, why it ain't no more prophets? Well, I mean, why ain't no more preachers? Ain't no more prophets. He said uh, John the Revelator was the last prophet. No, you, you, that dude's out of order. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just made, he's just speaking out of his own heart. Because the prophets are still here today. In fact, we're waiting to get our reward. All right? This is the book of, um, this is the book of um, uh, Isaiah 62 and 11. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Exactly. You see, this is the book of Revelation 11 and 18. This is the book of Revelation 11 and 18. All right. And it says, and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Exactly. So the prophets are always have always been here and will always be here. Even in the kingdom, we're not going to be out on the streets prophesying and preaching. Because guess what? Those both go the same hand in hand. And the person that gives that is a prophet. Right? So, but in the kingdom of heaven, hey, guess what? Prophecy is still going to be unfolding. And we're still going to be speaking things before they happen. In the name of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? So the prophets are still here today. A prophet does mean a, a preacher. A preacher does mean a prophet. And so that, I'm saying shalom, on to the next.